Hey everybody, it's Ryan with CPP Tech. How are you guys doing today? Uh, if you notice, we're not in my studio. Uh, I had a family member that actually got the fiber internet installed a few weeks ago. And when they came out, uh, they they did everything right to a point, but um, long story short, they built this house about three years ago. I came in and I wired the whole house for internet, phone, and TV. And I ran Ethernet everywhere in the house. Uh, they had they had a two pair DSL, which was horrible, and that was part of the reason why I actually ran Ethernet. Which I, I like running Ethernet everywhere anyway, so therefore it's just a plus. Um, so and I had to go to a switch. Well, a week or so ago they had to go out of town, so now I'm, uh, now they're back, and I came in here uh, to get this thing set up. They. They hooked up the fiber internet and they put the, the router downstairs. And I think we're going to keep it that way uh, simply because the speeds that I get upstairs don't fall off until we get to that backside of the house or the, the side of the house over there. And they're not to a point where it's going to make a difference. Most of their usage is somewhat right above us, catty corner to here. So up there so with that being said we're actually going to take this toner it's the uh tempo 200 em or ep and we're actually going to tone out the ethernet lines we're going up to the bedroom because originally i had the modem for the for the phone company up there and i ran two ethernet lines every to every room i ran two ethernet lines every every box but how that one was working was you had the phone phone hooked up to that modem and then I had one line going down here to my switch and then another one going up to their computer. And I don't know what happened, but apparently I guess somebody hooked up the modem, the computer straight to the modem, which is fine. I was just running everything to that switch. So what we're going to do is we're actually go upstairs. I'm going to show you I, I, this little makeshift uh, deal here for toning out Ethernet. We'll go over this now. We'll go over this toner real quick. And uh, so basically what happens is you have tone, off polarity, which everything's off. So you don't drain, drain your battery. And then community polarity. So we're not going to use that. That's, that's for uh, toning out multiple phone lines or actually daisy chain together i believe but we're actually today we're going to use tone so when we push tone the uh the little red light comes on and there's a little button on this toner so whenever you hook this to one side of your ethernet cable you come to the other side you can tone it out we'll demonstrate that here in a second so um, I have a feeling it's already hooked up. They have all these other data cables. There might be, it might be one of these two, but we're gonna, we're gonna tone it out and see what we get. So let's go ahead and run upstairs. And I got a little makeshift deal. So if you notice on, on the, on the transponder here, you actually have a phone. You actually have a, a phone uh, plug. Um, this will, if you have Ethernet jacks running through the house or whatnot, you can plug this directly into the Ethernet port or the phone port. It doesn't matter which one. Um, it'll fit. But because how I wired this, I didn't put it in a traditional uh, Keystone jack. I actually have it coming out of the wall with, with a wall plate and they're coming out. So it's a direct line. There's no cuts between the two. All right, guys. So here's that makeshift adapter that I use so I can tone out these Ethernet cables. Uh, one, one's got the Ethernet port on there and one's got the phone. Uh, the only reason I do that, like I said earlier, is that these are just coming straight through the wall. There's no key, keystone jack. These are coming straight through the wall. There's no keystone jack. Um, so what I want to do actually is I want to plug one into here, like so, and then I'm going to take that trans transmitter 
and I'm going to plug the foam part into there. And now, so you notice how there's no red line, no red dot there. I got it set on tone. There's no red dot there. That tells me that it's already hooked up to that Ethernet or that that switch downstairs. So if I were to un undo this one and actually plug this one in, then my red comes in. So I know that's open. So if that light's on, that means that the circuit is closed and it's already hooked up somewhere. Uh, so in this demonstration, what I'm going to do actually is we're going to go downstairs and I'm going to show you how it's toned out. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Okay? All right, guys. So we're downstairs and I've got all the Ethernet cables here uh, to find out which one is which. So whenever you press... This button here, so you're going to hear that. So there's actually a gain up and down, um, depending on how far away that transmitter is, because this is pretty much for the receiver because it's trying to find that signal that's transmitting. So we're going to, what I like to do is I like to go through each one of these cables with the tip of this. Now, now I hear it faint, so what I want to do is actually I want to turn turn that up a lot more. So we know, so we know this one is it. So if you heard, and I don't know if you could hear it or not, but if you heard, let's see, there it is. But earlier, earlier I heard a small faint when I had them all together. So um, that was just a bleeding over. But we know that's it. So. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it into the switch. Then that other side will go to the back of the computer. So I know I showed you guys that the uh, one that had the light on is only plugged into the switch. Uh, we're going to leave that hooked up because at some point in time I may, I may add a ubiquity access point and we'll just put it up there in that room to cover the whole, the whole house. What I'm going to actually do now is I'm going to hook all this stuff up. Then we're going to run a speed test on the, the DSL. And then we're going to run a speed test on this new fiber and see where we're at on it. Okay. So give me one second and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to run a patch cable from this switch. Now, most of the time, you don't really need a spot where it's at. You know, you can pretty much we'll put it anywhere. I like to put it in port one on the switch. Just, just me. Um, you can daisy chain switches. So I know you can't see it, but this is a this is a, a wireless access point that the fiber company gives them. Uh, there's actually one port on here. It should be an output port. So that. Uh, that should go to from out to the switch, and it is a one gigabit switch by by Netgear. Uh, it's unmanaged, but now all the stuff that I had hardwired earlier is now hardwired again, like the phones and the computer and the other stuff in which it was down there. So what I want to do now is what we'll do is we're going to run a speed test on. This fiber is only going to be wireless. It's going to come up of here. I'm going to open up Ookla. So 
So there's my 100. And my 99. So I got 100 up or 100 down and 99 up. So that's pretty good. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go upstairs before we actually disconnect the phone company's uh, modem router. We're actually going to run a speed test on that to do a comparison on what what it is with the fiber versus the uh, the phone company, the two pair. I will tell you that earlier when I ran that test, I was 22 down, which I was actually surprised going over two pair, but I was only like one up. So we'll run up there real quick and then we'll do our final thoughts on it. Okay, give me a second. All right guys, so now we're over here on the, uh, the phone company's network. We're gonna run a speed test real quick. So as you can tell, we're uh, on the phone and it looks like we have a uh, ping of 17 and earlier the download was at 22. Let's take a look and see what it was now. Now it's 21. Um, that upload was like 1.8, 1.9 earlier. So let's take a look at that. And it's almost done and 1.9. So that's a lot, lot lower than the other. Okay guys, so that's how I tone out the ethernet lines. Uh, I hope this was educational for you. Uh, the speed test between the fiber and the, and the two pair is just astronomically huge of a difference. Uh, perhaps maybe we can do a, a comparison at some point between fiber and cable. Uh, I, will, I will tell you that as far as the upload speed on cable is not as superior as it is on fiber. I really, really wish the cable company would actually get get higher upload speeds, even just the basic standard 40 or 60 upload would make a bit of difference. So, but anyway, if you like this video, throw a like and subscribe and consider looking at my other content. There's a whole bunch of computer builds in there. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. So until then, thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.